Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a fun, all-around sports watch. In fact, it could be your only watch, as it's equally appropriate in formal attire and sporty, that is to say, equally suited to the board shorts or the board room. Now the watch on my wrist is 34 millimeters in diameter. It is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual 34 millimeter. Reference 114200. It's constructed of Rolex's highly anti-corrosive in-house 904L stainless steel. And it has impressive wrist stance. For a 34 millimeter watch, you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it does look nicely proportioned for my arm. And if your wrist is 16 centimeters circumference or smaller, this might be the perfect match for you. The timepiece though, 34 millimeters in diameter feels larger on the wrist because of the cushion profile of the Oyster case. It looks more like a 35 or a 36. It's only 11.6 millimeters thick with a domed bezel that slides easily underneath any cuff. Lug to lug, you're going to find the watch is very comfortable. 41.8 millimeters include the solid end links of the Oyster style bracelet, and it's a somewhat larger 43.5. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference. If you wish to accessorize, and it would be one of the more appropriate Rolex watches with which to experiment. Aftermarket straps would look welcome on this timepiece with its 19 millimeter strap spacing. So you can see the lug spacing well suited to experimentation. The timepiece does feature a minimally adorned oyster style bracelet as it's principally of satin finished with polished outer faces, but you can see all three faces of the hoods are satin finished. There's a staggered link alignment that's always been the style signature of the oyster along with staggered link size. And you can see the quality is very high with all removable links fixed in place by screws. The oyster clasp is a little bit simplified compared to some of the other references. You can see it features a stamped or embossed Rolex coronet, as well as a minimum of contrasting finish. The flanks are of polish, the hoods are of satin, but it has a lift lock system that works the same as you'll find on the high-end Rolex sports watches, such as, for example, a Milgauss or an Oyster Perpetual 39 or an Air King. And you can see those senior references lend this lift lock system with its internal horn and beak. If you pull it, it will not pull up. You must lift the pivot fitted lock to unlock it. It is far more secure than a friction fit system. Internally, uh, this works a bit differently than the EasyLink bracelets. You can see there are several different stations, four separate anchoring points where you can anchor the bracelet, and you can see those anchoring points let you move it in or out. So along with the removable links, you have a few options for sizing this bracelet. The case band itself is quite elegant. You can see a Rolex twin lock crown in steel with the slash underline indicating a steel twin lock. A fluid form. It's surprisingly graceful. I expected it to be a little short and stout, but it actually has a handsome proportion. It's been slimmed compared to the larger watches, so its aspect ratio doesn't change that much, and there's a strong break between the fluid and compound curve of lines of the case band and the hoods of the lugs which were of satin finished contrast. The bezel itself is not angular, it's not a cone, it's actually a dome and it's beautifully polished. The dial is handsome and nuanced, it's not a silver sunburst. This is what Rolex sometimes describes as a silver white or white dial. It's an opaline, a very fine matte frosted silver finish and you can see transferred lacquered black square indices outboard of applique white gold indices fully loomed with luminescent material as are the hands at center. There's going to be a loom shot for this watch. Applique rather than printed five-point Rolex coronet that is rendered in white gold as are the hands at center to better resist tarnish and oxidation over time. Now you turn it all over underneath that screwed down case back. You have a Rolex manufacturer caliber 3130 automatic with bi-directional action for smoothness and a jeweled staff to compound the smoothness. 48 hour power reserve, 31 joules, stop seconds or hacking feature, beats away at eight beats per second or 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer, adjusted in five positions with an overcoil hairspring to help it beat concentrically in every position. That is, to help it keep good time irrespective of the influence of gravity. That's how it earns its chronometer certification. The overcoil is mounted on a balance that is free sprung, and that, in turn, is on a full balance bridge. Those two features contributing to shock resistance. 100 meters water resistant thanks to the screw down crown. It's a tough little timepiece and a versatile one. It looks great on a broad range of wrists and it is very traditionally sized in its proportions as well as its outright dimensions. It has a mid 20th century dress watch elegance to it and a sports watch movement with a sports watch case water resistance. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Rolex Oyster Perpetual 34 by night.